Why Warren Buffett is buying these two stocks quickly? Welcome back to Wealthology. For today's video, we will be going to talk about why Warren Buffett is buying these two stocks quickly. Let's get started. If Warren Buffett could sum up his activities during the past couple of years in one word, it would be quiet. It's noteworthy to note that if you look at his trading activities during this period, you can tell that he has been extremely unbuffered. More shares have been sold than purchased by him. However, Buffett lately made a turn for the better and began buying this one stock wildly. Oil firm Occidental. Petroleum is represented by that stock. This is crucial because Buffett has a track record of identifying undervalued, high-quality stocks and it may be a good opportunity for us to invest in them as well. Why is Buffett buying Occidental Petroleum? Now, unfortunately, Buffett hasn't come up publicly and explained exactly why he bought the stock. And that's fair enough. He doesn't have to do that. But he did have an off-air discussion with CNBC's Becky Quick. So Quick reported that Buffett told her that we started buying on Monday, February the 28th, and we bought all that we could. He claimed that after reading a transcript of Occidental's February 25th earnings conference call, he made the decision to start buying the previous weekend. I read every line, he claimed, and declared that I would be acting exactly as described. According to Buffett, CEO Vicky Holub is managing the business properly, as Becky Quick reported. So there you have it, a major hint as to the initial cause of his purchase. Chased. He loved something in the earnings score transcript that prompted his substantial investment in Western. The CEO is aware of why the business has done so well. 5 Reasons Why Buffett Bought Occidental Number 1 increased financial performance. 2021 has been an amazing year numbers-wise for the company where earnings went from negative $146 million to a positive $1.54 billion revenue wins from $5.29 billion to $7.91 billion. The balance sheet has improved. A lot they reduced debt by $6.7 billion and increased common stock equity. They increased their dividend. They increased their dividend from $0.01 to $0.13 and in the transcript, it said they have a goal of having the same dividend yield as the SP500. Operational performance improved. Their production for the year averaged 1.167 BOE barrels per day. So that's 27,000 higher than their initial guidance. They increase sustainability. They are one of the only few oil and gas companies with net zero goals, and they have managed to reduce scopes 1 and 2 CO2 equivalent emissions. So you add all of these things together as well as the CEO, who seems to have values similar to Buffett e.g. Paying of death, long-term thinking, always focusing on the shareholder. And it doesn't surprise me at all why Warren Buffett has bought big into Oxy. Stock price and when did Buffett buy? Everyone who invested in Occidental before this year has seen an incredible return on their investment. It was going for $25 to $30 in 2021. And ever since their February 25th earnings call, the stock soared off. And as of this now, it is trading for more than $60 per share. Buffett, however, didn't get in on the action. He didn't begin purchasing heavily until he had read the results score transept on February 25. He only paid between $51 and $58 to enter, with the weighted average hovering around $56. Buffett also owns warrants that entitle him to purchase an additional 84 million shares at an exercise price of little under $60. 
But Buffett didn't stop there with the buying. Buffett has rarely invested a significant amount of money in a stock over the past few years. With the exception of investing in the West, Warren Buffett made the decision to buy an insurance firm with his own money. The insurance firm Allegheny will be purchased by Berkshire Hathaway for $11.6 billion. One of Berkshire's top five purchase in terms of size is this one. As a result, if we break that down, each share is worth an average of $848. This represents a 16% premium over Allegheny's average stock price over the previous 30 days. And evidently, when Buffett purchased it, the market began to value the shares at a higher level around the amount that he paid. Now, given the numbers, this is such a classic Buffett stock to purchase. Last year, Allegheny generated more than $12 billion in revenue and $1.1 billion in net income. This results in a price-to-earnings ratio of 10.5, which is significantly lower than the market's PE of 25.7. Buffett's primary preference is that it is affordable. Second, it is an insurance company, and Buffett is familiar with the sector dating back to France. He claimed to have been attentively observing Allegheny for more than 60 years and had purchased his first interest in the insurance industry as far back as 1967. Third, Allegheny Joseph Brandon CEO is a favorite of Buffett. Interestingly, he formerly oversaw Berkshire's reinsurance division from 2001 to 2008. The Buffett claims that they both adhere to the long-term company management philosophy. The fourth argument is that it also enables Buffett to use some of his $146.7 billion in available cash, which he had been waiting for so long to use to make a purchase. What are other big investors buying this year? Ray Dalio, Charlie Munger, and Katie Wood are three investors. Let's begin with Mr. Munger, who is the oldest. Now that he has invested heavily in one stock, it is a very contentious investment. Alibaba is a Chinese corporation in which they have invested. He just purchased one stock in 2021. Alibaba and that was, he acquired 150,000 shares each in the first and third quarters before or increasing his investment in the fourth quarter by 300,000 shares. It is now his third largest holdings across the world. And in 2022, he revealed himself when asked, Why did you purchase into China? Isn't it too risky? We invested because we could gain greater value in terms of the strength of the firm than the price of the security compared to US, he said. Adding that the companies we invest in are stronger relative to their rivals and price lower. He basically bought it since it was a cheap firm compared to its worth. Next, let's talk about Katie Wood. Let's examine how she's been doing. She hasn't been performing well over the past year. As a result, Katie's ARK's website essentially displays you what Katie is going to ARK invest. She oversees six different exchange-traded funds. So we'll click on them all at once to find out what her largest purchases have been. So that we can see the biggest buys at the top. We need to switch to funds and wait. So based on this, we may conclude that she has primarily been selling stocks of companies like Square, Splunk, and Palantir. However, the two key equities she purchased are Shoplifting and Twilio. So Shoplift is an online store platform that most of us are probably familiar with. Actually, the stock has been declining recently, but on March 21, Katie purchased a low price stock around that $700. 80 level. Additionally, Katie only recently purchased shares of Twilio, the business communication software that has also dropped significantly at about $157 per share. That's a decrease from the price of $409 in 2021 when tech stocks were the range. 
Last but not least, Ray Dalio has been making some fascinating changes to his portfolio and his investment business branch water. According to the most recent reports we have, this was created towards the end of 2021. Dalio has sold off several of his ETF holdings and transferred the money to more specialized stocks. He discontinued his participation in the iShares MSCI Markets ETF, the iShares Core Emerging Markets ETF, and the Vanguard Emerging Markets ETF. The next purchase he made was Procter & Gamble, which was his most expensive purchase at $848 million, as well as charging Munger and McDonald's, Alibaba, PepsiCo, and J&J. Each made $530 million. Which aspects of this subject have you found to be very useful? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Stay tuned for our next video.